we started our journey with Telstra on cloud back in 2000 and 2008 um, in uh, Telstra's private private cloud. Um, so we've got a sort of 10 year experience in, in that space. Um, a, a few years ago, I guess we were getting to the point where the hardware and infrastructure within that environment was reaching end of life and we'd come to a point where we needed to make a decision as to uh, our next steps and direction. Uh, initially we were looking at a number of alternatives, one of which was migrating into um, the alternative Telstra CSX environment. Uh, at that point in time, um, Telstra and Visi engaged with AWS to look at some options in, 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 uh, in the cloud area with AWS and uh, the decision was made to go down the AWS path um, in 2016. There were a number of reasons why we chose AWS. Um, primarily, we wanted to r remain in the cloud space and we were looking for um, a, a setup that was going to give us flexibility, um, cost reductions, uh, scale, um, uh, high availability, um, and all of that with, uh, with the ability to be able to minimise our costs and be flexible in, in terms of being able to provide uh, new solutions to our business. The benefits that we realised as a result of the cloud migration, firstly, uh, cost benefits. So we did have an estimated around 25% reduction in our cloud costs as a result of, of the migration. Going to AWS means that um, uh, weeks to provision has been turned into hours to provision. Um, replication of environments is cost effective to the extent that we can, we can stand up an environment for a period of weeks, do a proof of concept, um, bring it back down um, until we're, we're ready to actually make that a live solution. And so um, the benefit of being able to do that is significant.